Hey everyone, hope everyone's doing good. It's Saturday today and um, I made this video even though uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was uh, really exhausted. But um, I'm feeling better now because I got in the gym and, and showed up. Showed up when I had a pretty hard time after hearing the news in Kramatorsk in the Ukraine at the train station and I'm sure you're gonna find out eventually but um, yeah I, uh, I was really uh, depressed and to tell you the truth making it to the gym was was tough today but that's um, what my video is about and what we're going to chat about is just consistency and showing up when you really don't want to or when things are going south. And, you know, I could, I could rant and, and rave for hours about what I really think about the Russian army and what they're doing to those innocent people over there and what they're doing to a country that means that is so dear to me and I have so many fond memories of from 2021 and so many awesome friends but um I'm gonna try my best to stick to uh the topic of consistency and showing up when things are tough so, as you can see here in the beginning of this video, I put a clip of me juggling and jumping on the tire. That's definitely a, a tie thing. Actually, believe it or not, my Cuban boxing coach, Ismiel Salas, he has a gym in Vegas. It's a super sick gym. He claims he is the guy who brought jumping on the tires to Thailand. So he was a trainer in Bangkok for, he was like one of the first boxing, Cuban boxing coaches to go to Thailand. And he had a ton of champions in Thailand. I'll speak more about him and, uh, and some of those names that you can uh, YouTube some of his champions in the future. But he told me, um, and he was dead serious, that he brought the jumping on the tires to Thailand. And... I'm telling you, so simple and basic, but if you have any sort of ankle injury, there's nothing better. Just for calf and ankle stability and calf development, unbelievable. So, uh, as you can see, I'm juggling here, and this is a perfect example of how uh, consistency and repeta uh, repetitive um training can really pay off um if you just keep doing it and show up and show up and show up like the amount of time i've spent staring at a wall and doing these hand eye drills um the goalie ones the goalie style ones or just juggling i mean it's on the verge of obsessive compulsive and insanity but over 10 years, I mean, I haven't ran into anyone who can juggle like I can. Other than guys literally like in Cirque du Soleil. So it's an advantage I have in the bank over about 99% of other martial artists I encounter. Um, and it's really just putting in the time and that consistency not to mention I mean just the actual athletic benefits you get from um, reaction time and hand-eye coordination it all pays off and it's so worth it and it can pretty much um, be incorporated into like all athletic endeavors but yeah here's me you know 
just chopping wood, carrying water, chopping wood, carrying water. I don't know if you guys know, but that's a, uh, a really cool uh, Zen proverb I, I love. Chop wood, carry water. Chop wood, carry water. And uh, if you guys don't know what that quote um, kind of means, or that proverb means, I'll kind of do my best to explain it. It's, uh, it's pretty simple, but can be uh, interpreted in a, a number of ways it can um it could mean that even if you are lucky enough over time to reach like the pinnacle of achievement or your goal you still have to show up and complete these everyday mundane tasks to keep it and that just never goes away until you're in the grave. Um, it can also mean that, like, seeking enlightenment is actually found through that routine and not at the end. Like, through the everyday mundane tasks, and but not despite them. So your happiness isn't really at the end. It's a habit. Your happiness is the habit. So, I really think that um, for me, because of the way my mind works and how I have to organize my, my life and my thoughts in a way that through these very... Um, through these, these habits and these activities that keep me present, my happiness is really like an inward journey. But to everyone like watching these videos, to the outside world, it looks like nothing ever really changes or it's like very similar. All the workouts are like the same. But even though for me, I'm transforming in the present moment. So it's just a kind of a, a way to show you how that even if things aren't going exactly like you want them to now, if you just keep showing up and showing up and you're consistent and you put in the volume and the repetition, eventually you're gonna you're gonna feel more enlightened and happy through the process than the outcome. So it really takes a it really takes just doing one thing at a time over and over and over again and chopping wood, carrying water, chopping wood and carrying water. <laughs> um, I guess it also means that like even if you um, do achieve your goals and achieve uh, success, it doesn't mean you just get like whisked to the top of a mountain top and you spend the rest of your life in bliss. You got to just keep waking up the next day and grinding and grinding and chopping wood, carrying water. So, yeah, that's my little uh, Zen thoughts of the day for you guys. Um, so, as you know, I, I kind of hope that this page will also um, show that maybe maybe you're not where you want to be in your life yet but it doesn't mean that you can't be like a leader and a, a great leader or leaders aren't always upfront in the beginning 
it takes a lot of time to be promoted to general, is what I'm saying. But um, with consistency and self-belief, I promise you guys, like, you can accomplish anything you want in this life. And as long as you uh, strive towards it daily and are extremely consistent. So, uh, yeah. Rome wasn't built in a day. <laughs> but they were laying bricks... Uh, every hour after hour after hour after hour and the road to success is always under construction 100 so um if you want to live a happy life tie it to a goal and grind and grind and grind not people or things but then again, you know, balance is key. The only way you keep your balance on a bicycle is uh, if your feet are consistently moving, right? So I hope uh, I hope you guys like that proverb. I think it's super cool. And I guess. I, um, I'll start kind of talking about my training session now. All right. Thanks. So here we go, guys. Um, I'm back on the slip line drill and I sped the video up a bit because I had posted, um, this drill before, but this is another kind of perfect example of just staying consistent and uh, it's a nice little drill to always always be a moving target you know if you were getting chased by a sniper you wouldn't just stand there and look for him you'd always be moving and changing your location and that's kind of the idea here always in and out rolling blocking Weaving, bobbing. It's a nice little drill. I kind of wanted to stay on the topic of um, consistency, but in a little bit of a different way. I want to talk about embracing the daily grind. Um, I think the best way to do this and this is really uh this is really tough especially for younger athletes before they have that life experience and you know um log the amount of hours and put in the time that you know guys like myself I'm I'm 30 in my early 30s now and I mean I've had a a ton of experiences in the athletic world and it's something I struggled with you know when I was really young in you know 10 11 12 you start playing um really competitive hockey around 14 to 20 and it's just learning to focus on what you can control and knowing that there's just so much outside of your control that all you really can control is your work ethic and your attitude and being genuine, you know? Martial arts for me and like what you're seeing now, this bag work, this is, uh, this is well over 10 years of training but 10 years of being genuine. I remember when I started boxing and kickboxing, I got all these looks and energies and people even told me, oh, you know, you think you're so tough. Like, are you trying to be a tough guy? It was just constant hating and, um, and just kind of 
putting me down about why I was doing this, but I knew, I knew it would pay off because like, look at this. It's pure reaction time. It's hand-eye coordination. It's footwork, speed, movement, dedication, consistency, study, always acting like a beginner, having that white belt mindset. There's always something to learn. Martial arts are fantastic, you guys. Like, I swear, every athlete, um, no matter your sport, this stuff will, uh, this stuff will level your, um, whatever sport you compete in, um, tenfold. So, kind of back to the, in, in embracing the grind and consistency, I mean, by focusing on what you control and working as hard as you can every day and as consistently as you can, you're going to sleep better at night knowing you're chipping away and doing everything you can to achieve um, your goal and your dreams. Um, you have to trust yourself. Because eventually you really learn that the road to any sort of athletic um, achievement, it's a really muddy and murky and dirty path to travel sometimes. And the sooner you come to terms with um, the mistakes and failures and wrongdoings, you're going to be able to live in the moment more and understand that the the journey really is the destination and embracing the grind and showing up is all you have control of you can't control coaching decisions who showed up to watch you scouting in 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 goaltending terms I mean it took me forever to realize that it wasn't just me out there and that's not I'm not trying to say that it's all about me it's all about the goaltender you're obviously the such an important part of the team but Knowing that you're not alone on this island and there is 18 guys on your team and they're all playing the game, it takes a little bit of a, of that, that pressure you put on yourself and knowing that so much of it is out of your control. You just have to go out and just react and just play. Um, so yeah, just a big part of trusting the process is just realizing that this path, whatever athletic path you're on, or even if you want to be in like an entrepreneur, get into business, um, you have to, Trusting the process is realizing your path is going to include pitfalls and adversity. And um, you, you actually need these grinds in order to achieve what you so desperately desire. Um, you have to keep going when it hurts. Keep fighting when you've already been beaten or are close to being beaten. And keep learning when you think you've learned it all. Especially in the in the martial arts world. It's, there's just a universe of stuff that even um, super experienced black belts can learn. And this, uh, this is what keeps me going. It's knowing that there's always something... 
um, to learn, to focus on. You can always be a little leaner. You can always be a little faster, sharper cognitively. The diet can be cleaner. And um, chipping, chipping away at your your goal, which um, I really do believe you should kind of. My goal is to fight in the UFC, whether it's one time. If it takes me till I'm 40 years old, hopefully not. Hopefully this page will help me get discovered. <laughs> um, it seems like a, it seems like an, uh, a crazy and intense goal for the everyday person, right? But in my mind, I've, I truly believe I can do it. At least get there once. And from then on, it's building momentum at the highest level. And, and right back to the same thing, like I said in the beginning of this video, even getting to the pinnacle of my dream and goal one day, I'm going to have to show up every day and do these same mundane training sessions and tasks and chop wood and carry water and chop wood and carry water. It just never ends. So embracing the grind, the best guys in the world, they never look at it as like a negative thing. No matter how tough their journey's been on them and what's happened in their life, they know that the grind is playing a vital role and building the blueprint, sorry, for their future success. And despite all the torture and pain that athletes go through, it takes a lot of genuine character to know that you may not even come close to accomplishing your dreams depending on again depending on things that you can't control your genetics where you're from you, yeah you know your predisposed genetics height weight athleticism speed these are all things that come into play but we actually have no control over at all so it really just comes down to accepting that there's going to be a ton of adversity in your life. Literally, it could be every day for 10 years. And any time you lack motivation or inspiration um, or energy... The consistency and the discipline is what's going to get you through those times. Because you really can't cheat the game. And you can't cheat life. As I got older, you know, and I went and lived in Buddhist countries like Thailand. Karma and what we put out into the world... And the energy we expel from our bodies, it comes back to us. We've all made mistakes. We all know they've came back to haunt us. But knowing inevitably that making mistakes and being human, um, we're all human. We all do it. Not just in sports, but in life. Um, knowing that those will inevitably show up in our lives, it takes a little bit of like the anxiety and stress out, just knowing that they'll be there. That's kind of like the stoic mindset, you know? 
it's not preparing for the worst, but just being like cautious of it. Because you can never cheat the game and you can never cheat life. And embracing embracing the tough times is what makes the strongest people in the world. So another thing too, it's like if you when you when you start thinking like this, it kind of always keeps you in a even keeled state of mind. Just never never too high, never too low. And trust me, you guys, like I struggled with this in my teens big time. Like if you want to talk about a goaltender who could get just absolutely fuego red hot for five, six games. But then, you know, lose a game, not even really be, you know, maybe not have my best performance, but just put it all on my shoulders. And then I would go through a three game slide where I was just uh, down on myself and I couldn't get out of this funk even though like geez even in, maybe I even won some of those games but kind of caught up in the adversity that I arrived and let it linger just having a short memory also is so is so important as an athlete goalies especially you know there's always going to be another opportunity there's always going to be another puck coming there's always going to be another practice to get better having a short memory that's for sure and an athlete's journey it's just it's just full of sudden twists and turns and trenches and hidden doors and trap doors <laughs> so learning to deal with these unknowns or at least being prepared because they will show up no matter what um the best way to just prepare for them is just to work as hard as you can every day and trust the process and embrace the grind When you do this, man, you can really build some momentum and it's like nothing bothers you. I have my personal issues. Sometimes I don't sleep well. I've had to really learn how to channel my, my thoughts and regulate my emotions, especially at nighttime when I'm alone. And, but what usually gets me through, a, uh, or at least helps me have the gr a great night's sleep is knowing that that day I got a little bit better than I was the day before, or even just embraced that this is my path. It's a genuine path. And tomorrow I'm going to wake up and I'm going to embrace the process and the grind again. And it's just on and on. I think too also as, um, as you get older and you can... As you get older, you really learn how to work um, more efficiently also. And that's where uh, that, that helps so much with being consistent. And that could be a topic for another video. You know, they say failure is only the opportunity to begin again, but this time more intelligently. And maybe in my next video, I'll... Uh, I'll speak about how um, 
how I really learned how to train more efficiently throughout the years instead of just kind of putting my head down and skating as hard as I could or um, running as hard as I could because, you know, we have to treat our bodies like a Ferrari, you know. And a Ferrari, you don't just redline the thing constantly or you put terrible uh, fuel in it. You wouldn't put uh, lawnmower gas in a Ferrari, you know. But that's for next time. Thanks. Thanks, you guys. Peace.